I think I have to try to vindicate my claim that free flow flies off the brush. So I'll put out two colours. I've got parole red, I think, parole red and burnt umber. And I just get a wet brush and go sloosh. And it's not hard to do, is it? And then you get those little watery things happening in between. And if I can had a water spray, I'd be able to do it over here on the sides. But you can see it's very easy to get a, a very liquid consistency of paint, which you obviously have to apply the paint in a horizontal position like this. But I, I, I think that really fulfills the purpose of the the very flowy stuff that's called high flow um, and which is the kind of paint that the other two Australian brands are offering to you but the, they don't have the slightly thicker thing that the free flow does so that's enough for that one I think now there is a medium that will be provided for the workshop if you come to it and it's called holding medium because um, I found it very useful to have a medium that makes the paint a little bit thicker especially if I'm painting on an easel. Now there's another thing I need to just point out to you about painting easel painting with free flow if you if you have a moist brush but just make sure you don't dip it into the water and just pull it out because you've got to get all the water out of the ferrule otherwise it, it will dribble down and make your painting run and you'll have to go and get sponges to sponge up the dribbles and so forth so um, something to watch out for but I, I tend to use this medium quite a lot so I put out roughly, as I do, I suppose, with most mediums, a half-in-half half mixture. Now, when I've done that, you can see that if you're painting out in the bush somewhere and it's dry and your paint's drying too quickly, you can sort of uh, cover your wet paint with the wet medium and then spray it with a water spray every so often and that's a lazy man's way of uh, keeping his paint w wet and workable and <clears throat> same thing applies to the painting and you can still do stuff like that press the brush down you can still dilute it it doesn't make it thick and resistant to dilution. And I just find it a, a, a very nice adjunct to have to the free flow paint as it comes in its original consistency because it, it moves around so nicely. It's really uh, it's really juicy, I think, so I don't have to use. So, yum. Look at that.